Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Sovereign Paladin here and today we're actually gonna go over the Andromeda Initiative briefing video and this is part two about the arcs and Nexus. Second briefing here guys, so if you haven't already been to it, go to Andromeda Initiative website on Mass Effect's website. It's like a subsite or whatever for their website. Uh, you want to go and do that and do their briefing and orientation videos. This is the second one, as I'm saying. We're going to get right into it right now. And this actually, they have a lot of extra information on here if you want to know more about Mass Effect Andromeda. So stay tuned with their website and you'll learn a lot. So let's get into this, react, and give you my first thoughts. So let it, let's go. <laughs> Greetings and welcome, recruits. I am Avina, your virtual intelligence resource and guide for the duration of this briefing. Inspired by the Milky Way Citadel, the Nexus is a smaller, streamlined space station that designed to serve as your central support hub and temporary home once in Andromeda. It doesn't look complete. The Nexus will carry with it a contingent of officials, engineers, traders, and security personnel on its voyage to Andromeda. All remaining humans will travel together, 20,000 strong, on Arc Hyperion. Uh, Even with faster than light ooh, travel, ooh, ooh. it would still take several human lifetimes to cover the 2.5 million light years to your destination. Survival will be made possible by spending the majority of this voyage in cryostasis, right. protected beneath the Mass Effect shields generated by your pods. As you travel to the edges of the known galaxy, a small escort of combat pilots will defend us from any threats. However, once we cross into dark space, we will be alone with only our kinetic barriers to shield us during our centuries so long journey. Once in Andromeda, the Nexus and Arcs will rendezvous in the Helios Yo, cluster, yes, the and Nexus operations complete. will commence immediately. While the oh. Nexus will be largely functional at launch, many elements of its construction are only scheduled for completion upon arrival at our destination. All right. Docked to the Nexus, the Arcs will provide additional power and storage to the station. You will be revived and assigned quarters in one of the residential blocks for a short time as our immigration staff assists you in choosing a new homeworld. Until the Pathfinders have completed securing these habitats, the Nexus will offer many duties and distractions. The archives in the Cultural Center house the combined history of the many Milky Way species and will assist new races encountered in learning I wonder if they're like a Shepherd holograph or something like that. That'd be really cool. hydroponics gardens are available for a quiet escape. Or you can also take the opportunity to socialize with a visit to the Vortex Lounge for any desired off-duty indulgence. Get lit! The Operations Center will oversee security and management of the entire station, housing everything from colonization efforts to Pathfinder HQ, where Pathfinders will converge to share information and discuss their progress. The state-of-the-art science labs will also be on hand, to investigate their discoveries as they begin to unlock the secrets of this new galaxy. Together, we will create a bustling center of trade, community, government, and diplomacy. The beating heart of your new beginning in Andromeda. I invite you to visit me there for further assistance. All right. That's briefing number two. That, that Okay, so we got some information here about the Nexus and its actual scale. It's smaller than the Citadel, but comparable in size, they said, I think, something like that. That's really cool. Um, so that means that the arcs themselves are significantly smaller than the Citadel. I, I was one that thought that the arcs themselves were slightly this, like under the size of the Citadel, but that's completely off because those are nowhere near the size of the actual nexus cool so if we actually go to uh let's replay this and let's actually go to hold on hold on this question mark here because there's actually other information here if you guys didn't know avena is an, a virtual intelligence i mean we've seen something like this on the citadel itself in the previous mass effect trilogy you know go to the asari little vi that's there gives you information and stuff yada 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 Archiperion gives you information about that, some pictures and stuff there. But look at this. 
not the leadership. That's cool. You should read through that. But the Mass Effect fields, that's awesome. So if you haven't played the previous Mass Effects, you can learn about Mass Effect fields and what they do. Pretty much all technology that makes space inhabitable and able to travel is Mass Effect fields. But this, the Odyssey Drive. This basically answers a lot of the questions that I had about how the hell do they have the technology to get from the Milky Way to Andromeda. And this explains it right here. So if you know FTL Drive from the previous series, they actually had to dump the drives and recharge because it basically would explode the starship because of the, I think, the kinetic or static, it says static energy here right now. And, uh... Basically, they convert that energy to power the stations. Eh, it's kind of a workaround. It's an experimental drive that does that. Whatever. That's their deus ex machina, I guess, for this. I, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Like, It's a brand new game. They don't really need to explain that much. This will do it for me. At least they gave me some kind of information instead of just saying, well, they just did. They gave it some thought, at least. And here you go. It's an experimental drive that converts the static energy into power that powers the arc's primary systems and then it says meanwhile an electromagnetic ramp scoop will gather hydrogen from the arc's surroundings convert it into fuel as needed so yeah that's how they get fuel that's how they dump the static energy so there's that um so yeah that's basically it guys if you have any questions or have any thoughts or theories about what's going on so far with these briefings and the information give it to us leave a comment down below start that conversation up i'll be in there popping in answering questions joining the conversation as well if you guys have any other questions or want to talk to me outside of here hit me up on twitter i'll leave that in the description box below so you can hit me there and uh yeah if you guys like the video leave a thumbs up it really helps the channel out a lot and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future content coming from me guys and that's it. So uh, I'll be back a little bit later with some more Mass Effect content. There's a lot to go through right now in the past few days that came out with the whole gameplay trailer. And then this now, there's a lot of details to go and dig through. And I'm pretty sure you guys may have seen other videos out there right now. But I'm going to be bringing some more stuff, possibly some more theories about what's going on and what to expect from Mass Effect and drama. So guys, stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm sorry, And I'm... Okay.